Vampire Diary. Let's be clear, girls, this isn't a movie adaptation of the hit TV show, I'm sorry to say. This is a 2006 British film, and it's a kind of a found footage movie about a real vampire. Now, this is kind of set in the kind of the London sort of neo-goth vampire scene. And basically, it follows a documentary filmmaker called Holly, who's kind of making this sort of low-budget documentary about all these kind of uh, weekend vampires, as she calls them. And then she happens to stumble across Vicky, who happens to be a real vampire. And they kind of, ha it's really the film focuses on their, their kind of like blossoming relationship. And if you're a fan of the, the lesbian vampire thing, then this is the film for you. And really, it's just the, the, the film follows the story of, of these two. It turns out that Vicky's actually pregnant. And I'll come on to the actual vampire mythology in just a second. And, you know, it, her kind of journey into having to feed and really having to sort of deal with this life as a as a kind of vampire. And, and that's pretty much it. It's kind of a, it's quite a slight plot. There's a few things I kind of want to say about this movie. So let's talk about the vampire mythology for, for a start with. So the vampires here are kind of very loosely defined. I mean, the only real thing that we get to see that they're actually vampires is the fact that Vicky actually drinks blood. But there's nothing else really to sort of say that she's a vampire. She is she no no the kind of the adverse sort of things like sunlight, crosses, anything like that. She appears to be alive, and we, as we hear her baby's heartbeat in one scene, she doesn't appear to be particularly strong. She's easily overpowered by this kind of this guy in one scene. So there's nothing really that to tell you that she's a, a vampire, other than the fact that she said she's a vampire and feeds blood. We, we're told that she had had fangs, but they were removed. So there you go. So it's kind of any a, a very sort of broad description of what you're probably used to as a, as a kind of vampire. So if you're looking for more of your straight sort of supernatural thing, then you know, you're know probably not going to find it here. So the the film is, is quite low tech. It's all sort of shot on these sort of handheld cameras. And I have to say, one of the things that bugs me, this is a good example of why are they filming. Um, there's a scene, for example, where Holly, who's a documentary filmmaker, literally is filming herself in the bath on her own. There's no one else there. Why would you do that? And things like that, and another scene where Holly's kind of running around trying to find uh, Vicky as she's kind of, as she has this kind of a bit of a, a split from her. And again, she's hauling around this sort of big video camera. We can see it's a big one because we see it in the shadow. Why would you, you know, if you're running around with someone, why would you be filming it? It's just going to be too heavy. Stuff like that. So there's a whole bunch of, of situations. You know, why would you film murders, for example? And, and that's the thing. So this, this, basically, the other thing, I think the script is, is quite poor. The, we're meant to believe that Holly, after literally a day or so of meeting this Vicky, Holly straight at the beginning of this film, yet we, we're willing to believe that she turns gay and is willing to be an accessory to murder after kind of maybe a day or two of meeting this Holly just because she says so. It just seems a bit of a stretch to me. And again, as we sort of go through the movie, there's more examples of this, the police presence, for example. Towards the end of the movie, we're told, oh, the police has kind of blocked off this area. It's a whole another 24 hours until they actually do anything. And even then, it's a simple polite knock at the door. So, it, again, there's just some poor script writing here, I have to say. The acting is it, kind of amateurish. Now, the movie stars Anna Walton, who you may have seen in a few other kind of, sort of supernatural flicks, probably most notably Hellboy 2. She was pretty good in it, and she's kind of quite sort of... Uh, the mysterious sort of type and, and it kind of plays it a little bit understated but some of the sort of supporting characters are kind of a little on the kind of the overacting side also the film is is kind of it drags on quite a few occasions it's it seems to pad out with these sort of films of these kind of goths in clubs there's so many just filler shots of these sort of goths dancing around in clubs and again it was a found footage film why are we having almost like promo shots of the dj and things like that so again I don't think, think it was particularly well thought through. I guess it's a fairly sort of realistic look, I suppose you can argue, about what vampirism would be in a kind of realistic manner and things like that. So I think it has an interesting premise, and there's certainly different, a different take on the kind of the uh, the kind of the vampire sort of mythology. And there are some actually quite brutal kills here. They're basically, uh, Vicky uses this kind of like butcher's gun, like a bolt gun, to kind of like subdue her victims, because she doesn't want to cause them unnecessary you know suffering and there's almost some quite decent sort of first person views of actually kind of shooting these guys in the head and they look, it looks quite effective i have to say it's not an overly gory film but it is it is shot fairly realistically so that i can give it sort of props for that 
But to be honest, I, I find it a kind of amateurish effort. I know this has kind of got this kind of bit of a cult following, but I think that's probably more because it's just kind of this whole sort of gothic scene thing going on. But as a piece of film entertainment, I, I felt it did have a, a few flaws. But there's certainly, it's, it has enough sort of unique attributes as well. It kind of makes it that a little bit interesting to watch if you're kind of interested in this sort of particular sort of style of film. So overall, I would say I'd probably give this one a 5 out of 10. It's really going to be if you are interested in found footage films and kind of the vampire ones especially. And, and maybe a little bit of a unique take, but I've seen kind of better films that are sort of similar to this. Midnight Sun springs to mind, which I thought was a kind of a great kind of realistic take on the kind of the vampire mythology. If you haven't seen that, I would check it out. So I'm going to give this film a 5 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think? Leave me a comment and I will look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.